resistance on it's 12 volts this is R and this is 5 micro so you close the switch as and and this that's how we charge the capacitor and we're told that after four seconds have elapsed from the moment the charging began the potential difference across the capacitor is six volts we want to find r what's the value of r So we have the, when we close the switch at t equals zero, that there was no charge on the capacitor first. So Q Q equals zero. Now we know that when the capacitor is fully charged, <coughs> T equals infinity. If this is, we call it E, the electromotive force, and the capacitor is C, when the capacitor is fully charged, that is at T equal infinity, we know that Q is just the all the voltage of the battery, the current stops after a long time, there will be no current, and so there's no voltage drop across R because there's no current. So IR is zero. So all the voltage of the battery appears across the capacitor. So Q becomes simply CE. That is, the 12 volts appear across the capacitor and Q is simply CE. What is the formula for Q at any time T? We have worked this out in the lecture. And it has to satisfy this. And that's, in fact, in case you forget the formula, this knowledge basically allows you to, to remember, the, either remember the formula or at least um, make the right guess at it. So it's C into 1 minus E to the minus T over tau, where tau is a time constant as given by RC. Notice that this satisfies those. At t equals 0, e to the 0 is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. So at t equals 0, q is 0. At t equals infinity, t is infinity. That's e to the minus infinity, which is 0. So q becomes CE, which is indeed so this is a charge across the capacitor. So what is the potential difference across the capacitor? The potential difference across the, capa across the capacitor, delta V, is just the charge divided by C. So divide the charge. This is a charge at every time, at any time T. So at any time T, delta V is this divided by C, which is E into 1 minus E to the minus T over tau. Now we're told that delta V is 6 volts and E is 12 volts. So we have 6 is 12 into 1 minus E to the minus T over tau. This means 1 minus E to the minus T over tau is 6 over 12, which is one half. So I take this here and I bring this one there. I get one minus half, which is half, equals e to the minus t. So e to the minus t over tau is one half. We take the log on both sides. It becomes minus t over tau is equal to the log of one half, which is minus the log of two. It's log 1 minus log 2. Log 1 is 0 minus log 6 minus log 2. So this means that T over tau is log 2. Now T, we're told that it's 4 seconds. 
this happens, it becomes six after four seconds. So we get so we get tau equal four seconds over log two. Tau is R C. So we want R. So R is four over C log two. C is five microfarads, so that's four over 5 times 10 to the minus 6. So 5 and 10 to the 6 is up log 2 ohms. So this is R. All right. Now, log 2 is about 0 0.69 something. So this is 0 0.7. And this is 0 0.8. So we end up with about 1.1. 1. 1. 14 or so, let's say 1.1 times 10 to the 6. So it's, it's a little bit over a, a mega ohm, 1 million ohms. All right.